morning Lucy just let me know um, just give me a thumbs up if you can hear me right see my my screen in the right way if everything's fine before we begin and before we start the music um, let's let's start warming up a little bit here so um, we're just gonna start with few join um, warm-up so if you great thank you if you could just start give me some knee bends and just gentle squats to activate our knees our ankles remember breath is going to be really important throughout the class so inhale and exhale we inhale through the nose and then we exhale, exhale. Breath helps us connect and contract our core. So it's really important that you keep all of that in mind throughout the class. Great. Let's start doing some shoulder rolls. Again, continue to breathe. Warming up. Um, also some arm movements here a little bit wider great and then let's just do it the other way good bring your hands to your center and let's do some spine rotation very gently start twisting your spine to your right and then center and inhale to rotate to the other side let's do it again one more time inhale and rotate and then switch to the other side great now let's do some side bends. So inhale and extend to your side. Just gonna do three on each side. And then switch to your left. Lovely. Let's begin with some spine flexion. Just open up the chest here and then rolling in your neck all the way to your chest. And let's play the music. So keep on rolling in and out. Your feet are hip distance apart. Start slowly warming up the spine and opening your chest. Great, let's open and go to a Tai Chi white stand. Remember your tailbone is tucked in. Morning. And open your arms to the side. So we're gonna move from side to side and follow your hand and your knee. And then to the other side, complete a circle. Bend and lean towards one side and then to the other. Now from here, we're going to rotate on the back toe. Inhale. And stop here and we're going to flex and extend the spine. Lovely. Stabilize your body. Strong legs. Clasp your hands behind you. And then just float arms up for a nice stretch. Lower your arms down. And let's take it to the other side. So rotate your back leg, your back toe.
great. And then on the next one, hold it, stabilize, open the chest, and flex your spine in. Clasp your hands behind, and roll up your arms towards the ceiling and slowly come back down, Pray and release. Good job guys. Let's start with our yoga track. So from here we're going to start rolling down from a mountain top all the way to the floor. So roll down slowly and sequentially. Touch the floor and then Keep your knees bent and roll down one vertebra at a time. Pulling your navel towards your spine. Great. From here, go back into a lunge. Knee on the mat and roll up. Balance and look up to the ceiling. Feeling that nice stretch along your spine. Roll back down. Slowly clasp your hands behind. And back to lunge. From here, rotate towards your leg and revolve. Hold the stretch and slowly bring the head, hand down and two legs together. Sequence, you already know it, so let's do it again. We roll up and then roll back down. Lunge with the front leg, knee on the floor, and slowly float arms towards the ceiling. Feel that nice stretch and come back down. Clasp the hands behind your back. Open the chest. Now let's twist to the other side. Open the chest. Feel that spine rotation and come back down. Both legs together. You know the sequence now. Let's do it a little bit faster. Roll back down. Lunge back. Now don't put the knee on the mat and balance from here. If you need to put your knee down, that's absolutely fine. Go back to lunge and twist. Open the chest and come back up and release. Great guys, that was our yoga and tai chi warm up. Hope you are enjoying. So, morning everybody who just joining. Um, let's take a break here. Uh, grab your water bottle, drink a little bit of water and catch up your breath. By now you should be feeling really pumped up and warm. Those legs should be uh, active, really, really feeling them. And we're now gonna go into our standing strength. So remember the poses might be a bit intense. Take a break whenever you need to, uh, but I'll allow for more time between each pose so you really, really feel the nice stretch and uh, the power of the position that we're gonna hold. Great, good, so let's move on to our standing strength. Uh, we're gonna start with a warrior two. So remember, your back leg is your support and your front leg is bent. Extend the arms and just check that your pelvis and shoulders are facing forward, squared. 
Your shoulders are really relaxed and away from your ears. Great. Start extending to one side. Just feel how your quads start burning and really strengthening. Great. From here, come up to the center, extend the front leg, lower the hip, and then extend up and open one more time into your warrior two. Let's do it again. Extend the leg, look up, bend front knee, and extend. Beautiful. Great. Just keep long lines with your body. And then from here, slowly, we're gonna bring the knee and the elbow together. So support your elbow on the knee, if you can, or go all the way down to the ankle and give yourself that nice stretch from toe to the fingertips. Intense pose. Breathe. Slowly start extending the front leg and come into your sun warrior. C shape your spine. Press your hips down. Extend your abs and your chest. Lovely. Good. We're going to go into a triangle position. So extend the front leg. And now lean to one side, keeping your pelvis facing forward. Great guys, one last stretch. And lower the hand to your knee or your ankle or your chin. And open up. Feel that nice spine rotation. Hold it there. Let's just slowly bring the arm down towards the other arm and then bend and bring it to your chest and open up. Beautiful, slow movement. Your body and your mind completely connected. One last time. Breathe. Great. Let's go to the other side slowly. So reset. Make sure your hips and shoulders are facing forward. Back leg is aligned with your bum and extend to your warrior two. Great job guys. Now we're going to start feeling that activation of the front leg. Just breathe to hold it and then come up, extend front leg and lower to center. And all the way up, extend and open. How slowly can you go to make the movement flow? One last time, and breathe. Good job, guys. Now we're gonna extend both legs, going to an extended triangle, and then lean forward from the waist. Keep it that straight line, and feeling your hamstrings also stretching. Great, we're gonna come down and open up. Look up with you to your fingertips. Great. And then from here, we're gonna slowly roll the arm towards the other one and bring it up towards your chest. If you need to bend your front leg or knee, 
just you know do that little bend the pose becomes too intense one more time come down and roll up towards your chest feeling how your muscles open up in that pose great come back up and release good wow that was really really intense on the legs well done guys good um you're still out there with me i hope great um tell let me know you're feeling it if you just felt it all through your legs and your core your arms those standing strength positions um, might be a bit tricky they could look a bit easy but they're really really intense um, and, a, and just a different way to activate your, our body and our muscles so good job everyone now we're gonna move into our glute track so we're gonna do a different glute activation I'm just gonna angle the camera towards the mat just to make sure that you are feels good stretch great yeah. you can see me all um, now lying down here great so um in this track what i i'm gonna ask you to do is just make your brain think of your glutes so we're going to be asking the brain to recruit and activate the glutes all through the next track and it's important that when you squeeze or you stand on one leg or we do the lunge you really think of that glute of the standing leg to make it really um, a real contraction to feel it burn so um, I'm gonna show you a different type of lunge uh, probably it's not your typical lunge but it's really effective so I'm gonna start with this leg just instead of doing our normal lunge like this, what we're going to do is we're going to keep the back leg straight and then we're going to lean forward and imagine you're picking up something from the floor. So we are really getting that stretch and contraction right here and that's where I want you to start focusing on and thinking, right? So we're gonna do a couple of lunges here and then we are gonna shift our balance, our weight forward, and then go into a little balance from here, there. Okay, so have a chair or be next to a wall if you need to, if you're not sure about your balance, but um, that's the type of lunge that we're gonna be doing, all right? And then we'll go down on the mat to do some um, shoulder bridges. Great, so let's play the track. Okay, so let's stand one leg in front of the other. Your back leg, you could be supporting on your toe. Um, make sure you've got a nice good angle here, 90 degrees. And start rolling down with your spine pick something up and breathe now feel the connection of the brain and the glute you're balancing so this is a great exercise also for runners and people that need to use glutes quite a lot but also keep their balance you should be feeling that activation now. Right, so now let's shift the weight forward and try to extend that supporting leg into a little balance. Two more. Great. And on the last one, try to lift the back leg just slightly or all the way up and release well i'm feeling it hope you're feeling it too let's switch legs go down into your lunge position stabilize your body and pick something up slowly good 
feel that nice good stretch and activation on the glute of the leg that is supporting you. Two more. And last one. Great. Now from here we're going to shift the body forward and go into a little balance. So touch the floor and move up. Balance. Strong legs. Great. Only a little lift on the back and that's all you need. Last one. And on the next one, let's try to see how far we can go up. Focus on lifting that back leg. Great. Knees together. Shake it up and let's go down into our shoulder bridges. So here, bring your feet really close to your glutes and start lifting your hips. So you're not peeling off, you're basically just lifting the hips. Great. Keep on doing it. Another hip lift. Now in the next one, I want you to squeeze glutes and really feel that your glutes are the ones lifting the hip. Great. And release. Down. Great. We're going to step it up a little bit and lift your front knee into a tabletop and release, switch and release. So what we're doing here is activating the glute of the leg that supports our body. Great, switch, connect your brain to this glute and lift. Let's do a couple more. Brain connection there. And one last time on that side. And lower your head down. Great. Good, we've got two more moves. So catch your breath there. And again, lift your hips. Bring one leg to tabletop. And from here, extend and bend. Extend, bend, extend, bend. Two more. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and slowly bring the leg down and release the hips. Great. Let's do it again on the other side. Lift the hips, connect the glute that's supporting you and extend, bend, extend, bend. Two more. And slowly bring the leg down and release the hips. One more challenge, guys, so that we really feel the glutes. In this class, reset your position, make those glutes strong, lift the hips, connect the brain to the hip glutes, and then from here, all the way up, your leg is extended, and then we lower to knee level and up. Breathe. As you do the movement really slow and controlled. One more time with this leg and release. Lower the hips, lower the leg and reset for the next leg. Hips up, connect glute and brain 
extend the leg to the ceiling and legs to come up, point go up, legs to go down, pointed, slow control movement guys, keep on breathing, one last time, all the way up, release the hips, bend the knee down, and release. Great, awesome. Hope you felt that one. And you got that really nice glute activation. So let's just um, very quickly cross your legs here and let's do a quick glute stretch. Making sure we also thank our muscles for just doing a great job here. Switch legs, cross one leg over the knee and just bring that knee towards your chest. You can hug it or you can just press it with the elbow to the other side. Great, awesome. We are now gonna go into our core track. So, if you need to drink some water, do it now. Um, and we're going to be doing both um, lying down exercises, uh, normal abdominal exercises. And then we're going to flip over and we're going to do some plank variations. And uh, that'll be our core track. So, um, come on to your sitting position, make sure you are bent. I'm just going to probably angle this a little bit better so you can see me. Um, your hips, knees and ankles are at the same distance. Remember we're going to have a neutral pelvis most of the times so unless your legs come up and then you do an imprint of your lower back. So let's begin with some half roll-ups and mountain tops. So remember, this is your mountain top. And then we slowly start rolling down. Exhale. And come on up, slowly rolling up. What is important here? That your toes don't lift or move. If your toes lift, don't roll back anymore, just keep the movement short. Great, mountain top and roll down. Keep the toes grounded. Come all the way to the top of the mountain and here, controlled, glide your leg and stretch. Come back down and roll down to where your toes don't lift. So you're not compromising any technique. Glide the other leg, extend, and roll back down. One vertebra at a time, slowly. Just do one more on each side, top of the mountain, and stretch. Inhale and exhale to roll down. Exhale to come up, top of the mountain, and release. Great. From here, we're going to go down on our elbows. And you're just going to do four leg stretches. And now four tabletops. Exhale. This really activates our lower abdominals. And again, four leg stretches and tabletops. Great. Now roll back down, all the way down, head on the mat, reset. Bring your legs to tabletop here, imprint the spine and roll up with your upper back, chest and shoulders. 
Make sure your core is really engaged here. And we're gonna do single leg stretch. Exhale as your legs stretch. Control, slow movement, two more. And hug your knees to the chest. Great, good job guys. So the next one is our double leg stretch. So we hold um, leg, hands and ankles together and then we stretch both legs and come back. Exhale and come back. Exhale, knees to chest, two more times, and one last time, hold it, hold the really tight muscles there, and bring the chest, knees to chest, and relax, your head on the mat, great. Couple of seconds there to just give you a breather. And now we're gonna go into plank variations. So this is our last track, come on guys. One last effort to get a really, really good workout of our abdominal and back muscles. Great. So come on into your plank, normal plank on your arms and legs. So make sure your show, um, sorry, elbows are right under your shoulders and your hips are not up and they're not dropping. They're right in the middle in a neutral position. Great. So we're just going to go from here into a downward dog. Two downward dogs. And now we're going to hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Really activate that core. Really press in and contract your muscles. 3, 2, 1. And back up to downward dog. 2, downward dogs. Great. And now hold your plank for 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, don't drop the hips, two, one, and up again, two, downward dog, two downward dogs, and now we're going to hold it for six, five, four, three, two, one, knees on the mat, and go down to your baby pose and stretch. Good job guys, that was great. We're gonna do it all over again, but this time on our elbows. And that will give you a, an even deeper core activation. So, so remember when you're holding the plank, think of a corset just wrapping you around and pulling you from underneath and all around your uh, back and your waist. All right, get ready. Go into your plank on your elbows. Make sure you have a nice straight line and go into your downward dogs from here. Two and hold it for 10, nine, eight, six, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, up to downward dog on your elbows and hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and two downward dogs, contract your core. And give me now six, five, four, three, two, 
One, and release. Knees on the mat. And stretch back. Heels, sit on your heels and stretch the back. Great, really good guys. That was, you should feel it by now, that real, real uh, deep abdominal muscle activation. You did very well. Now we're gonna stay with the planks, just two more variations before I let you go. So this time, um, I want you to go into a wide plank, so your arms are probably just outside your mat, so they are not right under your um, shoulders, they're a little bit wider. This is going to activate more your muscles and not so much your triceps. So extend your leg on the back, make sure you keep that nice long line, and then we'll come back, come down to a press up, Keeping the, leg, the back leg extended. So you're activating your glutes here and you're activating your back leg muscles to keep it straight. Give me two more and slowly hover your nose over the mat and release. Good. Let's switch legs and we're going to do six more here prepare inhale and come on down keep that long line of your body awesome last one and release good we're going to do the same for our triceps so bring in come into a close plan so your shoulders are, are and, and your elbows and hands are now aligned to the side of your body extend one leg have a good strong um, support in your hands and slowly start bending the elbows you need to come all the way down, almost your nose touching the mat to feel that good tricep activation. Two more. Breathe. And last one. Great. Good one. Switch, switch legs. Reset. And come on down. Bending slowly from the elbows, activate the core and make sure your strength also comes from within your center, not only your arms. And release, stretch out, come into a kneeling position here, good, let's stretch the arms this time just very quickly catch your breath that was really really good and switch arms you should feel by now how your triceps and your shoulders really really are active so that's a good stretch. Let's uh, stretch the triceps for a couple of seconds. Switch arms. Great. So now our final exercise is going to be um, some obliques and then we'll go into stretching. So come on down again on your mat um, and this time just switch and sit on one of your uh, glutes. Make sure you're supporting your upper body on your elbow here as well. And we lift legs 
on one side. So we're just going to start doing some knee elbow connection here. Exhale when you extend legs and arms. Two more. And hold it here. Four, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Great, let's switch sides. Sit on the other glute, support your upper body on your elbow, make sure you've got a nice comfortable position here, bring your knee and elbow together and extend, inhale, extend, legs and ankles are together. And last one before we hold it. Four, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Great. Well done, guys. Very good. We're gonna all now lie down on our stomach and start our stretching. Let's begin with our glute, uh, sorry, our quads. So lie down completely, stretch your body and with one hand grab your ankle either way and then place your head on the mat and start lifting and pulling your ankle close to your glute. Feel that nice stretch, lift the, leg, the knee off the mat. Make sure you're not tensing your lower back. Great, release the leg and switch sides. the knee up off the mat and pull the ankle towards your glute. Enjoy the stretch and the relaxation of your body at this point. You feel your heart rate Go down, and your body recovering, lovely, release, and now roll over to your back, we're going to stretch the hamstrings, so keep one leg bent, and then just grab the other leg and extend it gently towards your chest, Pull it. Close your eyes and really relax. Slowly grab maybe the upper leg. Maybe you can just grab behind your ankle or behind your calves to give it an extra pull towards your chest. Great. If you want to try to stretch the lower leg at this point without lifting the hips, try to do so now. Great. switch legs. Pull the other 
other leg towards your chest. And explore how far you can go. And just make it really relaxed on your upper body. Try to extend in the lower leg. that feels right. Great. Bend the knee and slowly roll up on your mat. Keep your legs extended. You can use just a little cushion if you need to sit on it to keep a, an extended back. Just feel the nice extension along your back from the tailbone all the way up to your head. This position is not so easy to hold for everybody, so you know, bend your knees if you need to, but just focus on keeping the long straight back. Great. Roll over and fold over your knees. See how far you can go. Some of us can go further down. Some of us need to bend the knees. It's absolutely fine. So what we're trying to do here is stretch the hamstrings and keep in the long line along the spine. Great. Bend one knee and with your opposite hand, try to hold on to whatever part of the foot you feel comfortable. Extend the spine and try to stretch the leg with a little spine rotation here. Might be easy, you might need to just support your back with your back arm, whatever is easy. Bend it. And let's now try to extend one more time. Long, tall spine. And relax. Great, let's switch legs. Roll forward, grab your foot, bend the knee, rotate your spine, and stretch. See if you can lift your back leg, arm and keep a straight long line with your body. Bend it one more time. Get hold of it and stretch. Lovely. Come back down and stretch both legs one more time. Great guys, now we're gonna just go into a mermaid position keeping both knees and legs in 90 degrees. So we're gonna do a little different twist this time, where you're going to get up, supporting in your lower back, and both knees on the mat, and extend. You feel the nice arch down the spine and along your abs, your chest, and your hip flexors. Great. And slowly bring your hips down and switch. So reset your knees and your legs, make sure they're both in 90 degrees. Nice angle there, support your lower back. 
and lift the hips gently exhale and arch back great you should feel a really nice stretch from coming from your quads all the way up from your hip flexors and up through your obliques and the side of your arm lovely slowly come back down and bring both knees together great from here fold your legs and then we're just gonna stretch the neck that's our final stretch so place one hand on the mat and gently pull your neck towards your shoulder and now slowly look down towards your leg and tuck the chin down towards your shoulder oh that's a nice release of any tension great let's switch sides hand on the mat and pull gently to the other side great your spine still straight look down towards your knee and tuck the chin towards your shoulder great release now both hands we're going to just pull from behind the head tucking the chin towards your chest and you can roll in a little bit further if you need to just stretching those neck flexors there and extensors and now release and that's it guys wow thank you so much for joining me uh, i really enjoyed this class we did a really good workout um, and i hope you feel your glutes tomorrow because uh, we did a good good glute activation uh, we also worked in our balance and uh, you got a good core workout so um, i hope you all have a great weekend or rest of the week it hasn't been very sunny but um, it'll hopefully improve and uh, I'll see you next Thursday again same time thank you so much for watching those of you who have been coming to my class every morning on Thursdays Lucy thank you so much um, for just tuning in and uh, inspire me to create more new classes uh, for all of you guys thank you thank you so much uh, and I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned with Better Together Dorset for the rest of the classes that all we are giving in in this uh, Facebook page. Thank you everyone. Thank you Lisa. Uh, have a great day. Bye.